Hey guys, it's Christy with Zen 10 Lotus Tarot. Just wanted to come to you with your quickie love reading. This is for the sign of, where should we start? Oh my goodness. Let's start with, um, you know what? I never did get to do my bonus readings for Taurus and Virgo. So let's start with Taurus. Um, we're just gonna do a quickie. So it's just gonna be a few cards. Um, I'm gonna throw down, I'll give you some love messages from your person. Um, We'll do three and three. <laughs> this is how you, Taurus, are feeling about your person right now. Ooh. Closing up a cycle, are you? Yes. The world card talks about um, ending of cycles. So whatever cycle was going on previously is now ending. So um, it could be maybe that you're going within and thinking about it, thinking about making some changes, thinking about um, what things you could do to change the situation. Um, clarify the world for Taurus. Yeah, you wanna send a message um, to someone or you're thinking about passionately starting a new project or you're thinking about, um, you know, sending this person a message of love. Just something small, something like a, a token of your appreciation or love for that person in some way and maybe in the past you haven't been very loving you've been sort of like cold or distant or something like that but you're going back and forth with it should I just end this completely and just you know move forward or should I still keep trying you know because I have this idea I have this um this thought of possibly starting something passionate with someone but you're juggling the idea of it right now for whatever reason why is Taurus juggling that idea? Why? Why is Taurus juggling the idea of ending this cycle or beginning something new? Taurus, you don't want to talk tonight? What's going on? devil <laughs> something that um, maybe this cycle that you're ending was a cycle of toxicity you know one of addictions and um, codependency and um, a toxic tie or something to someone in the past and you ended that cycle to begin something new something passionate something exciting something um, real you know instead of codependent or toxic in some way you may have addictions that you dealt with in the past or this person that you're dealing with did um, for whatever reason um, there's some there's some attachment yo know, in some way that's a little toxic and it led to heartbreak in the past for you being this codependent in that codependent situation that you're trying to end the cycle with um, Let's see what your person's feeling about you, Taurus. What is Taurus's person feeling about them? Yeah. It's like a um, tower, tower moment. You know, either tower in that, um, yeah, they're feeling like, um, they're feeling like that toxic cycle had to end. And that um, if you're going to start something new with them, it has to be on stable ground. It can't be something that's wishy-washy, right? Because the tower talks about things that are um, blown up, you know, for our greater good of building something more stable and real and um, on stable ground. You can't build a house on a shitty foundation, right? You have to build it brick by brick so that it's solid as a rock. And if you don't have that in that toxic past situation, you know, that's, you know, this, this person is looking for the stability. And so you may be dealing with um, a water sign like Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Capricorn or um, a Sagittarius. Um, yeah. So, but whoever this person is, because they threw down that tower to say, listen, um, 
you know, I need something stable. I can't, I can't be in a building like the, you know, Tower of Pisa leaning, ready to go down at any moment. And I'm not waiting for that brick to fall that brings the whole thing down, especially when I've invested time and energy and effort into it. So let's just blow it up now so that um, you understand that I only build things on stable ground. Um, and that may have left you or your person feeling a little bit like let down or um, lacking or feeling like they were being left out in the cold in the process. But it's only um, spirit is saying like, you know, you can't build a foundation on a faulty I'm sorry, you can't build a house on a faulty foundation, you know? You just can't. Um, so, what else are they feeling about Taurus? Yeah, they're feeling like right now they have their guard up, you know? They're in this little bubble of protection because there's possibly... Possibly it's for their own protection, you know, maybe they've created walls around themselves for a purpose Something that serves their greater good their peace their harmony their stability their um, Time their effort their energy in investing in something stable this person wants stable You can you know, they've got their walls built for stability. They want the house to be solid <laughs> Solid and yes, they are very guarded and they got all these wands built up around them for a purpose because they've been wounded in the past. Like they're the wounded warrior at this point and they're suspect of anybody trying to come into their energy at this point in time. Is that your fault, Taurus? No, it's not at all. In fact, you may be an amazing person. It's just that this person has been through a lot and um, they can't they can't um, settle, you know? They need uh, stability. What else are they feeling towards Taurus? What else? Yeah, they want to come, they would like to come out of um, that energy of feeling like the rug is going to be pulled out from under them. They would love to have faith in the understanding in the matter and to, um, and to move forward with you. But, um, and spirit is actually encouraging them to be a little bit more open, you know, and, and to use their intuition and to, um, put up boundaries in a way that, um, protects them, but at the same time doesn't leave them closed off, doesn't leave their heart space closed, you know, to keep that heart space open for opportunities because there is opportunity for growth in your connection, you know, there's a possibility for that, but, um, and, and that would be, you know, a will of fortune in your favor for this person or yourself if you were to live from a more open heart space with, with your person. What's their mutual energy spirit? Both of you. Both of you are on a path of healing and understanding and rest and recovery, okay? I don't know if you're recovering from an illness. You could be recovering from um, heartbreak. You could be recovering from, you know, a spiritual awakening. Whatever it is, healing has taken place for you. And you're, you know, you've got your little nest there. And you um, are right now focused, both of you, on your own personal healing process because you're both guarding your heart in your own nest and you got the, um, the strings, you know, tied to you tightly to make sure that it is protected in that healing process. And so maybe you both are a little distant because, because you need time, you know, to recover or heal from a heartbreak. Um, but Spirit says, like, celebration is coming up for you, you know? Maybe possibly getting together um, at somebody's house, you know? Or um, 
doing something fun together. You know, this is a card of celebration. This is a card of um, maybe you're getting a new house. Maybe you're planning on moving or traveling um, or getting a new house. Um, clarify. Give me one more card on their um, mutual energy for Taurus. Both of you. Yeah, that came out again. Feeling like, feeling a little left out in the cold, feeling a little um, nervous, feeling a little bit uh, lost, feeling like there's been a loss. Um, but Spirit is saying, you go, you both are healing and you need time to do that. And so it's not an ending. It's, it's a transformation, you know, it's a ending old cycles you know, maybe you have old relationships or old ties or old uh, toxicity that you have to clear from your energy. Maybe you're closing up karmic cycles, you know. Whatever it is, it needs time for healing between the both of you to do independently before you could ever build a solid foundation together, you know. Um, so, yes, definitely. Um, the feeling of... of lack is there but this could ultimately lead to your wish fulfillment if you take that time to do the healing that's necessary in order to build a solid foundation together um and you it, you know it takes time you know you may feel like this person has turned their back on you and that's not the case it looks like this person is looking out into the ocean and saying like what is it about me you know you ever just go on the ocean and look in the, in that water and that big open beauty and just think to yourself like gosh I'm so small in this world you know and the wonderment of it and knowing that like um God is real in that moment you know and it's like I feel like this person is reflecting and saying like I'm waiting for all that I'm worthy of and I'm willing to wait for all that I'm will that I'm worthy of and um it's not that I'm turning my back on um, this connection per se, but I have to wait until that healing has taken place before I could um, face it, you know, and, and actually start putting time, effort, and energy into it as much as a relationship deserves, right? Um, and you may feel like this person is running away from you, like running in the opposite direction, like you're trying your best, you know, to um, send some text messages or little notations of love or something like that and um you may feel like this person is running away you know they got their little motorcycle and they're running in the opposite direction and, and spirit is saying like you know part of their defenses you know their defenses is to run away um, when they feel like the rug could be pulled out from under them. So they require that stability, you know, that absolute stability in a situation, excuse me, before they would ever invest. Um, the lovers, decisions, you know, decisions have to be made. Um, you want to come in like, you know, that knight in shining armor bringing flowers and wine and chocolates and you know um you want to be that person but it's like um you may be feeling like you're just not sure yet you know like you got your horse over there you're contemplating you got everything that you need you got your little flowers your bouquet of flowers that you want to bring um but you're like am i Am I not ready for this yet? You know, the Knight of Cups energy can sometimes come rushing in with overwhelming feelings of love, but then um, kind of change their mind in the process. You know, like, like oh shit, maybe I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Like, what am I doing? So um, it takes time and contemplation in this um, Knight of Cups energy for them to be a solid, you know? It's a little immature, a little, um, a little not fully ready to give <laughs> a full-on stable committed relationship to someone you know it, this is like the whole courtship thing like I'll give you some flowers and you know we'll go on a date 
and and that's a start that's exactly where it has to start and begin you know but it's like there's healing that needs to take place first um, either in your connection or independently each of you may need to heal on certain aspects um, but you're both passionate you both have that fire you got the fire yeah you just want to like um, take off the false mask because Maybe you're being cold to one another. Maybe you're not being as loving as you should be. Maybe you're wearing a false mask, you know, and like you have all these hidden feelings and emotions that you want to share with your person, but you're just not sure how they'll be received. And so that keeps you in that state of, you know, feeling um, worried, you know, like, do I want to take off my mask? You know, do I want to reveal myself? And, and it's like, but deep down in your soul space, in your heart space, you are, you are the king of pentacles, the stability, the um, CEO, the boss man. You're the boss man. You got it all together. You do have the stability to offer somebody. You just don't know if you're ready. Um, but spirit is saying you have all this wisdom, all these learned lessons, all these, um, All this growth that has been done within you that you could share with another person if you could um, or even your person does that if they could just get out of that space of guardedness you know that space of protectiveness of their own heart and to actually have faith you know then then this could move forward in the right direction I don't know where the night of one or where did the night Yeah, I must have been on the bottom of the deck. Anyways, yeah, but this this um, guardedness and this protective bubble that this person has put themselves in, you know, deep down there's this stable, committed person, or you are, and, and you're capable completely of giving it all and receiving it all because you know your worth. You've been through a lot. You have a lot to offer someone. And so it's like um, spirit is encouraging you to live from a more of a heart space um, because you guys are soulmates. Um, two of Cups. So now we got the Two of Cups and the Lovers on the table. Those are very strong soulmate cards. Um, so this person is part of your soul tribe. Um, so it's like, you know, we have many, many soulmates in our life that come and go. Um, a lot of them are just to teach us lessons. Um, but this is one of your soulmates, you know. And it's been a little bit of a burden to you uh, deep down. Um, but you want to come out of your headspace of fear and anxiety and worry about the situation and just be like, listen, is this going to happen or not? Maybe, maybe you want to send this person a message and go, are we done? We end in this cycle. Like, should I just like lose your number? Should we ghost each other? Like, what's the deal? Like, are we going to work on this or not? And spirit is saying like, you're not using your intuition, you know, healing needs to take place. Um, nobody is going to, you know, cut ties with anybody else it's just it just it's, it's a process that's going to be slow and in, in, in healing in nature and it has to be done um as a process you know to build trust and to be open and honest with each other and to grow together you know through that healing process and it could lead to celebration you know um the eleven eleven card you know, this could be a twin flame union. This could be um, a twin flame connection. It's just, um, it's going to take time. And, and I don't have any of the divine guidance or any of the, um, any of the angels watching this connection. So I'm not going to call it a twin flame yet, but um but, you know, you may have thought about living with this person. This can also mean a house or getting a house together or asking someone to move in with you or something like that. So, um, but you're a little bit scared, like you're fearful that that wouldn't happen or that it wouldn't work out if you did. Um, but you do want to offer something, you know, you want to uh, make a suggestion of something. Um, you want to offer your pinnacle, you know, and, and like... 
your pinnacle of practicality, stability, and love in the way that you know how to give it in your love language, you know? And, and I just love the little page of pinnacles because it's like, even though it seems like a small offer, it's, it's stable, you know? It's not fleeting. It's not, um, it's not about lust and weird shit that comes and goes and immediate gratification. It's a, it's a, it's something thought through. It's something that's given, um, as an offer of stability. Um, and you want to give it to the queen of cups, you know, somebody who's loving and caring and giving and nurturing. This person may be, um, you may be older or younger than this person. There may be somebody that's younger than the other one, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, you're passionate. You want to be successful. You want uh, recognition. You want to shout this from the rooftops. Like, this is my person. You know what I mean? But um, it requires a big transformation in this connection. And it, it starts with the healing. So let's get some... Um, let's get... What would your person say to you, okay? And I'm going to give... Taurus, what would you like to say to your person first? What's a message of love for your person? That's too many. Nobody wants to talk tonight. Nobody wants their messages out. Let's just take one right off the top. Would you still love me if I had nothing to give? So that's what you want to say, Taurus, to your person. Would you still love me if I had nothing to give? And what would this person, your person you're thinking of, that's on your mind that you came to this video for, what would they want to say to you? I have so many plans for us in my mind. Am I alone? You know, this person's like, you know, I do have plans for us. Like I, I do, but like mine includes a stable foundation. <laughs> and am I alone in that thought process? You know, and that's what creates walls when, when we question things, you know, when we're um, thinking up the worst case scenarios in our brain and spirit is saying, you know, you got to put put the walls down a little bit you know you gotta learn you gotta heal you gotta figure out why the walls are up to begin with you know and maybe this could be a wonderful union I mean it's got a lot of soulmate energy to it and and it may even be a higher level soulmate you know like a twin flame it could be I didn't see any angel cards though so I don't like to say that but um, it definitely could be a higher level soulmate connection uh, connection you know and so it, do you want to end the cycle or do you want to continue um, Spirit says, go within and heal. You have to heal. Um, let's get one more. What could this couple use in their healing process? What could help? Scorpio energy. Vulnerability is sexy. Embrace it. You know, this person may be a Scorpio that you're dealing with, but they think that vulnerability is sexy as shit. <laughs> you know, like when you're open and not living from an ego space, um, when you actually tap into that heart space within you that is real and raw and open, um, that's sexy to them. So, if you've been sort of cold and detached and kind of like lackadaisical in the idea of actually sharing real emotion with this person that you're dealing with, and especially if it's a Scorpio, I'm here to tell you, we don't want, 
we don't like the niceties and BS. We want to like, we want to connect with people. We want to know them. We want to feel them. We want to um, be real with them. We want to be our best self with them. We want to be open with them. We don't want to feel like we have to wear any masks because that's when we get uncomfortable. That's when we put up our walls. If we're wearing a mask, walls go up because it's like, okay, this person is making me feel like I can't be real and raw. And so if I can't be real and raw, I got to protect myself because that's where I live from. I live from my real raw space. So if somebody can't handle that kind of energy, then I have to put up a wall to them. I have to put up a boundary. I have to protect my energy. So, um, yeah, somebody has fear of criticism. Self love is required to overcome it. Fears are being imagined and blocking your blessings. Fears are being imagined in this situation. This is one of my favorite, and since it's at the bottom of the deck, I just have to read it for you. You'll be the kingdom and the king. You'll be paradise and the guardian angel. You'll be infidelity and you'll be faith. You'll be the lion and you will be the deer. And that's by Rumi. It's a poem, and it's called The Lion and the Deer. And it's like you... Maybe one of you is super like, um, maybe it's like a perfect yin and yang and Taurus and Scorpio are complete opposites. They're opposite energy. So if one is light, one could be dark, you know, and, and that's that yin yang energy where you bring out the best in each other. This person can, you know, show you the light and this person can show you how to work through the dark or whatever it is, you know, you are, um, complete opposite signs, which actually, um, attracts you to one another, you know, energetically. And so, although I do believe this is a very um, special connect connection, you are in your own, you know, you are soul tribe members. Um, this could just be a lesson in healing, you know, for one another. Whatever it is, it's going to take time because fears are being imagined. Um, people got walls up. Someone ain't living from a heart space. Um, someone's afraid somebody just um, wouldn't love them unless they did like if they only just had love to give you know like whatever it is like there's some there's things that need healed issues that need healed before you guys could ever come together so let me let's give a positive thought I wanted to do this as a quickie what the heck it's 27. why can't I shut up yo I just can't all right. Positive thought. Positive thought. I am worth loving. I do not love. I don't. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Others reflect the love I have for myself. So maybe it's like, you know, a self love issue or self worth issue. Like you have to love yourself first before anybody else could love you. And so, um, because once you love yourself, you exude nothing but love. And so that you attract love just simply for being um, loving to your, to your own self. So maybe your path of healing needs to be focused towards self-love, um, worth, knowing what you're worth, knowing who's worth your time, knowing what's good for you, you know, to be the best version of yourself. So, um, Taurus, those are your messages. I hope that this has helped you. And if it has, please like, subscribe, share, don't like the video. Whatever you can do to help my channel is greatly appreciated. And I'll be talking to you soon. Have a great night.